Hey, welcome Super Dads to the channel and to this video and to everyone else who's here. Thanks for tuning in, tuning in. I will, however, start with a caveat and that is this video is specifically for those of us who are um, married or in a relationship in which you have kids at home and there is, and your significant other is the mother of those children. Okay. So if you're not in that situation, then this might not be the most interesting video for you, but it might still provide something of, of interest. All right. One of the easiest ways to improve your relationship with your wife or the mother of the kids with whom you're living. Boy, that's getting really onerous to say all that. So I'm just going to call it your partner, okay, from now on, and you can you can assume that all the rest of that is implied. So one of the best ways to improve the relationship with your partner is to change the language that you use. Specifically, there is one word that you need to avoid saying, and that word is mom. Do not call your partner mom unless that word mom is preceded by the word your as in when you're speaking to your kids and you say oh yeah your mom will be home soon okay under no circumstance should you ever say the words something like oh yeah mom will be home soon because she's not your mom she's not and listen to me the words you choose are super powerful that stuff gets deep into your psychology your partner is not your mom. Do not call her mom. Even if you're talking to your kids and you're sort of speaking from their perspective, you still need to say your mom or your mother will be home. Okay. Or use her name. When you talk to her, definitely say her name, right? Or something like, you know, my woman. <laughs> If you're going to get frisky or sweet cakes, if you're going to get really wild. No, don't do that. Probably don't do that. Depends on your relationship. I'll leave it up to you. Just avoid the word mom when you're calling. Because here's the thing, right? A lot of women, especially if they have kids, do have a mothering instinct, right? Especially if they have kids, they're going to have that instinct. Um, but this is, this is perhaps especially salient for me living in Japan, which is a country that is heavily populated by mother's boys, uh, boys who were raised, men who were raised by their moms and absentee fathers. And as a result, they become super dependent upon their moms. Their moms do everything for them. They cook, you know, they clean, they do the laundry. They do basically everything for their sons well beyond when they're, they're capable of doing it for themselves. You know, I have university students who are, you know, third year university students, male university students whose mothers still pack them lunch boxes and do all their laundry and stuff like that. Uh, and so what this produces is, you know, large portion of the population uh, men who uh, despite being fully grown they when they when they when they're looking for a partner they're actually looking for a substitute mom right a new mom to take care of them and do all this stuff for them and there is no there is no way that a man can be perceived by his female partner that is less sexy uh, less appealing than as a grown child for whom she is responsible and who she needs to take care of on a level that is at all similar to that of the other kids. You need to be an oasis from that. You need to be the capable one, the one that she can rely on, the one that she can, you know, trust will have integrity and keep his word and be an adult with whom she can be an adult. Okay, you are an oasis away from the kids. And that is, goes even if she doesn't spend a whole lot of time um, taking care of those kids, right? Like my wife is very busy. She works six days a week. I spend more time uh, child on child care than she does, objectively speaking, right? This is not, you know, um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to big up myself or something here. But she still has more of that mothering instinct, that instinct of going, having to take care of them. And if I start walking around calling her, mom's going to be home. It puts me in that mindset. And when she hears me call her mom as well, what do I, what do I sound like? I sound like a, a giant six foot five child. 
which is an absurd image. So just avoid it. It's a real easy fix. Whenever you catch yourself saying it, just say it again and put your mom in front of it or put in her name, okay? Whichever one feels more natural and works for you. Trust me, this will have an effect on your psychology, on her psychology, and on your relationship. Thanks.